Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Bridge Constructor Medieval. Because I've always wondered whether I would be any good back in the day, back before computers, back before I was making knob jokes, back in medieval times. And not only that, I was also browsing through Steam and I was like, oh, this game costs 69p. Nice. Anyway, first bridge, we need to build a bridge to deliver grain to the castle because basically the castle is under attack. It needs supplies, it needs troops, etc. Don't spend more than three and a half grand. Got it. This video is in paid part partnership with BetterHelp. As someone who had a pretty stressful 10-year career engineering and now makes a living by trying to please an ever-changing algorithm that could decide to end my YouTube career at any moment, having someone to talk to about my problems could have been a great help and potentially saved my hairline, meaning I wouldn't have to wear this damn hard hat the whole time. If you think therapy might benefit you, head to betterhelp.com forward slash real civil engineer. BetterHelp can connect you to a credentialed therapist that is trained to listen and give help helpful, unbiased advice. You can choose the most comfortable way to have your therapy sessions, whether that's via phone calls, video calls, or even just through messaging. You no longer have to meet face-to-face -face for therapy. To get started, you fill out a questionnaire to assess your specific needs, and then you'll be matched to your therapist in around 48 hours. And you can change to a different therapist at no additional cost if you're feeling they're not the right fit for you. Over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to start living healthier, happier lives, and you could join them by going to betterhelp.com forward slash real civil engineer where you'll get 10% off. Thanks to BetterHelp for supporting the channel and for looking out for my viewers. Anyway, we got some bridges to build. All right, and so I built my bridge. You can see we've got the troops come in there guarding the grain as that comes into the castle. Good posture on the horses there, by the way. Now, unfortunately, I did spend more than three and a half grand. I spent four and a half grand. So what if we just remove that? I assume that will just fall down, won't it? So, oh boy, it's bending. It is bending. All right. Before the grain goes across, let's see if it supports this man. Oh, it does. Does it support two men? Yes, it does. Does it support horse? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wow. That was quite graphic. Uh, okay, what about then we try... Wait, how much am I meant to do that? How am I meant to do it for that cheap? Three and a half grand. Oh, I'm wondering... Do I do... And that costs four... How does that cost four grand? I was going to say, what if we try and make a ramp? I don't think I, I put on the blanks. Let's just double check. It's not a graphical error. Oh, wait, where's... <laughs> oh, no, the sound effects. I thought the physics were bad. Okay, what if instead of using logs down here, what if I do that? That is 3,200. I didn't realize I could use the planks as like a building material as well. So I think basically planks, if they go flat, they're the, they're the bridge deck. If they go like diagonal or vertical, then... And they are just supporting structures. That is going red. Oh, it broke. No, get across. Oh, I didn't get across. Okay, what about that? Vertical supports. I did not think I would be stumped on the first bridge. I think, though, that should probably do it. Yeah, the weight going down a piece vertically uses a lot less force than, like, at an angle. So, decent. 100% completed. Now we got to deliver fresh fish. But uh, we've only got 14 grand to play with. Oh, boy. And this is a big castle. And, oh, my good. Look at that rock formation in the background. <laughs> That is very efficient looking. So first off, we put the bridge deck in like that. And then I don't want to use logs. I just want to try and use planks where I can. So if I go to there and then support those two, and then over this side, do the similar thing like that. That could work, but will it? Oh no, we've got bends over that side. Hang on, we'll put that in. Right, that should be a lot stronger. Trouble is, oh boy, fish weigh a lot more than grain does. Bridge is holding though. Not the most stable thing in the world. Okay, bridge is not holding. Bridge is not holding. The sound of this. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what. We'll do that, that, and that. This middle piece does move quite a lot. So I wonder whether that will be better. That looks a lot more secure, but look how red that bottom piece is going. Oh, they snapped. All right, swap that for a strong log, though. Like, look at the girth around there. That should be way stronger, right? Surely. Oh, no, that's going red now. You've popped. You didn't even go red. This game is horrible. All right, I've added a few more logs. We're only 100 quid under budget now. Is this gonna work? I'm not convinced that's going so red. Oh, actually, actually. Oh, he's only gone and done it. He's only gone and done it. I basically just looked at the rock formation in the background and got a load of inspiration. But yeah, there we go. We've completed that 100% onto the next level. Now, this could be the most important bridge I ever build in my life, but I got to keep it under 20 grand. So we've got a new material 
stone. And with, oh, with that, we can make like really tall pillars. We've got one there. Shove another one over there. Oh, look, they get little, they got little arches underneath. Then we can put road across like that. And then if we just rope like this, we've made like a little cable stay bridge. And look, they go through the little arch. The rope is just about holding. It's under quite a lot of stress, to be fair. But I mean, beer does weigh a lot. And it's an essential delivery that our castle needs. What I'm wondering, though, is why do we need to build a brand new bridge every single time? It makes no sense. What also doesn't make sense, I spent 14,700 more than my budget. So let's retry. Let's, let's get rid of everything. So I'm thinking if we... How much would a trust cost? I sort of want to know, can I just trust this? Because we have quite a big budget. This is going to be a lot cheaper than what I just had. Yeah, I've still got loads of budget, so I could put a column in. Oh boy, I was going to see. Let's see how the trust does, but um, it, it doesn't. No, the beer! The beer! Okay, stone pillar, I imagine. Yeah, really expensive. That puts us over budget. If we use log, it's... Oh, it's not quite tall enough, but I mean, I could probably just truss under like that. That's going to be strong, surely. Although, look at that piece. There's a lot of weight coming through that plank. Oh, no, it broke. It broke. No, the bit. Okay, swap that with a log. I reckon that's good. And actually, I don't think I need that bit in the middle, do I? Because this is just two bridges essentially. Two spans, anyway. So I don't think that in the middle did anything. Look how red that... No, it broke! Oh, no! Oh, man, it's... This game's so violent. All right, perhaps this should go in then, just to spread the load a bit more. Just so the weight isn't all coming down this middle pillar. It is actually stretching along the entire bridge. Will it work like that? I don't know. Look how red that is. Oh, it has. No, it hasn't. Oh, we got so close. All right, what does this button do down here? Oh, it adds more gridness. Okay, that's cool. So what I'm thinking, we take that as low as we can. We then log that. We then make these middle trusses a bit bigger. That should spread the load a bit better. Now, I'm not sure if the bridges in this game have weight. So have I just used more material? In which case, this will burst even quicker. It's going to burst. It's going to pop. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, tell you what then. Tell you what then, game. I will use less material by going underneath. Because if my truss is under here, then it's part of the supporting structure. So like that. May need to replace these two with logs. But I think this will be way better. Oh, it burst. It burst. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So we'll try that. I, this game's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Not going to lie. But oh, that is going red. That is going red. That's going red as well. Are we good, though? We might be good. That bit in the middle is so red. We did it, though. We got the beer across. We're going to have the best kingdom ever. Oh, I got an achievement. All right, so next up, we got to deliver stones to the castle. They're going to weigh even more than beer. So we'll try and do what we know, which is, well, build a bridge. We've still got a fair amount of money back as well. So truss underneath like that. I'm going to stick that together. And then logs to hold everything up. So perhaps something like that could be good. Although, oh man, look how big the stone wagons are. That is a lot of weight. Yeah, that middle bit just got ripped apart. And oh, oh they explode. I'm actually wondering, is it worth trying to trying to build these trusses out of logs. So what if we try that? I've got an up and an under. The up uses the logs, although it's a smaller span. So maybe that's not needed. Oh, that middle, that middle beam. This is hard. So that broke. So can I swap that for a log? I might try swapping this span for like normal planks because they cost less than logs or at least these two. But oh man, this is brutal. Yeah, so let's try doing that one and that one as the planks. See if this span survives. So this is the heavyweight. So how are we looking? I mean, yeah, actually, I think that's quite good. That pillar goes. I better just check. Do I need a log on top? Can I get away with that? Right, here we go. Is that top one going to break? Yeah, the top one does break. So top one needs to be a log. Got it. This pillar keeps breaking. Can I make that stone? I think I'm just over budget, but let's see what happens. So first span fine. Oh, it's not even fine. Oh, no. Like, everyone else survived. It's not the first people. Okay. In which case, make the truss taller because a taller truss is a stronger truss. I may even be able to get away with using planks rather than logs up there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. And then this side, are we good? No, we're not good. Those horses are definitely not good. So what if we 
go down to there like that and then truss like that. That looks pretty strong to me. Looking strong and being strong are two different things though. But oh man, yeah, they need to be, they need to be logs. I'm not sure I have the money to do this. No, we're well over budget. The good news is though, that did work and everything underneath stayed very green. So perhaps I can just use like a really small truss just to like, just for stability basically. I don't think it will do too much in terms of forces. All the forces are going to be going through the logs underneath but this is the real test the heavy loads oh yeah we've done it we've done it oh that level nearly embarrassed me anyway save 500 quid that goes in my back pocket nice little bonus and then this cast oh man look at the span of this yeah this one we've got to get wood across now i assume wood isn't as heavy as some of the other materials we've taken over but only one way to find out all right stone pillars if I do two stone pillars, that's basically all my budget. So I might just do them up to like there and try and use planks everywhere else. So what if we give that a try? This looks expensive. It does actually look quite strong as well. But I mean, oh man, look at the size of those logs. Why are we taking such big logs across this? Just, oh no. Right, I think... There's no need for the stone. Log will probably be fine. And then we can log these end pieces as well. All right, I've still got quite a lot of budget left. So let's just see whether the strength is looking good. I feel like that middle... Oh no, look how bendy it is. Look how bendy it is. Oh no. Yeah, that uh, that did not go to plan. If we turn those into triangles, that should stop these middle pieces breaking. Yeah, but they're not the problem, actually. I mean, it's the sturdiness, really. But let's just try. I mean, actually, I could I could try trussing. It did work last time. Oh, it's so, it's so expensive, though. But it should stop everything flexing. I mean, oh, it's still, it is still trying, especially with the big logs on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Right, run, everyone. Quick. Oh, no. <laughs> no. All right, back to the drawing board. Let's try just trussing underneath because you can always trust a truss. So we got that. We'll just do these flat pieces and then I need to find a way to support underneath. So we'll do two logs there, two logs there. I imagine I'll need to log like up to there like that sort of thing we are now over budget by a couple of hundred quid but let's see whether this concept is going to work at all it's the big logs that ruin everything oh look how look how orange that went oh the middle broke oh it broke but we're good it broke but we're good the middle of that one broke as well but we did get across so is that fine does it matter if anything breaks no it doesn't matter oh nice okay in which case do i even need those pieces like if they break may as well delete them save the money right okay somehow this bridge is holding look how bright red those two logs go no no make it little man yes he's making it he's making oh he did make it he didn't make it. Ow. Oh, could I afford just that one? No, I'm 100 quid over budget. I noticed this side didn't go as red. So if I lift that truss up, yeah, that saved me a little bit of cash. So I'm now 100 quid under budget. Is this left truss strong enough though? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, it's making it. Oh no, that side went. All right, that's exactly my budget. It's a little bit rickety looking. I think it should be fine. I'm I'm expecting these middle pieces to break because I put those back in. They do sort of shear the the entire structure up. Well, oh, actually, no, it didn't break. Didn't break that time. Oh, have I done it? I think I've done it. Oh no, no, no. No, no, no. Make it, little man. Make it, make it, make it. You can do it. You can do it, I believe. Oh, he didn't make it. He fell to his doom there's the sound effect All right i made a slight tweak we're exactly on budget now this thing's getting pretty crazy it usually breaks about here i think oh no we're not good no come on mr man just make it just make it just make it yes yeah oh no he's trapped no just jump or something oh i don't think he's made it that was so close all right second attempt was just as dangerous <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about this? I've split this first truss into like two sort of two bridges. Nah, it's going to pop. All right, run, run. Like, oh my God, what's happening to that one? <laughs> that guy made it, sort of. All right, hang on, hang on. Where's he going? Where's he going? <laughs> Technically, we haven't failed. Technically. Okay, and now, now we actually have fair play. Right, okay, this looks promising. This looks promising. No, please. No. Oh, he splattered. Okay, I've got 200 quid. How much does going up there cost? 500 quid. I could try that. It did not work on the other side. And it did not work on this side. All right. How about an overtrust? No, no, guess not. 
Guess not. All right, how can I save money? Do I need this in the middle? Can I just do like a little truss over the top? No, that's over budget. That is over budget. Still over budget. Hmm. How about a tiny little triangle in the middle? No, movement. It creates movement. Movement creates death. All right, back to the drawing board. What if I just log up to there? Yes, it's a lot of money, but doing something like that, I'm under budget. There's going to be movement in this, but the stronger materials might just about do it for me. Okay, we're looking good. We're actually looking good now. Oh, it's actually working. It's actually working. Please, please. I've been on this level for so long. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. All right, so on this one, our bridge is actually it's being attacked. Our logs did not see it coming. So we need to strengthen this. We've got like, oh, we've got like a huge budget, have we? So what if we just put logs underneath? I imagine that will just boost, boost. Yeah, it just annihilated both pillars. I oh, know we've got a dangly bridge from Polybridge. So this will probably work. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness it doesn't work. All right. Speaking of Polybridge, let's build a muscle underneath because these are taking the, the impact from above. So let's try that. Boosh. Boosh. They held up. They are jiggling all over the place. Your bridge should never jiggle. But presumably, this will work. Oh, it did. It did. That is what we're talking about. All right. And then we're on to bridge seven. We got to deliver more beer. So we got 50 grand for this. How big is this gorge? All right. Anyway, we'll get the the bridge deck across then what i'm thinking stone to like there-ish perhaps and then we just try and put an arch in like that i reckon and we can't reach down to there it's too far so we have to put like a little cross in the middle but something like that maybe log in the middle log across those as well we <laughs> We've made a we've made a Christian bridge. So we may need to swap some of these like middle supports, like these diagonals. Oh wow, I was gonna say with logs, but everything else sort of broke. Alright, what happened at the start then? That's going very red. Okay, that's fine. Swap those with logs. Probably should do the same on this side as well. Alright, and then how's this? looking there's a lot of beer this is a very precious load oh bridge oh, i was gonna say bridge looking fine bridge not quite looking fine oh go <laughs> god you can make it oh they didn't make it they did not make it uh what if instead i like add a joint in the middle because then that's all connected like as a truss and that should spread the weight a lot easier oh no that diagonal just went oh no everything's going everything's going all right just swap the bits that broke with a stronger material that is the key to engineering right apparently it might be because i think we've done this level get in mat all right so we got another one where we're under attack so yeah as before and what does get attacked that does and there's another one down this side okay got it so swap the planks with logs i mean we've got some budget to work with can i cable stay this bridge are ropes strong oh rope <laughs> ropes aren't just not strong they're they're not bendy at all they're completely completely straight i just want to know can i do a suspension bridge no it won't let me build it fair enough game Fair enough. All right, so this design does seem to be holding. Whether it will hold against that. Oh, no, we broke. We broke. I think we're good, though. I think we're good. Just climb up. Just climb up, mate. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's just delete that. Let's add an extra node in the middle by doing that. All right, that is engineering at its finest, I reckon. Ready? It held. It held. All right, now the game's teaching me how to build a truss. People could complete the other levels without building trusses. I, like, struggled, and I was a professional engineer for 10 years. How's was the game only just telling me how to use trusses? How are we meant to complete the earlier ones? All right, just tweak the truss so it's under budget. There we go. The next bridge requires a roof on top. I think they're being, like, hit by arrows or something. So, I mean, if I just do squares, then really that should fall down unless I do one triangle at the end. But I'm intrigued to see what will happen. So, boosh. Oh man, the, the supports underneath are taking a battering. Let's just quickly swap those for beefy logs. All right, still under budget. And our roof is protecting our troops and horses. All right, this next bridge is going to take some extreme engineering. So wait there a second. There we go. Engineering at its finest. Right, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was me going back to medieval times and being a bridge constructor. It was harder than it looks. Peace, love, and falling horses. Bye, guys.